A singular social political narrative is being pushed, and anyone who dares to question it or speak against it is being attacked and demonized. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Fellow yeah. citizens, this is not inclusion. This is not tolerance. This is not freedom. That's this right. This is not right. American. That's right. right. I stand here tonight as one citizen representing thousands who are taking a stand against racism <coughs> in any form. Right. No matter yeah. what it may be labeled, yes. let yeah. me clarify that no uncertain terms that those who oppose critical race theory and the organization called Black Lives Matter are not racist. Right. We do not, we do not see ourselves as being better than anyone else. Amen. Right. We value all lives and the rights of every person, whether or not we have the same level of melanin in our skin. That's right. Character from all those who claim that they represent the traditions of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. To be judged by your character and not your skin color. Right. To oppose CRT also do not deny the injustices of America's past toward Native and African Americans. I myself am two different groups of Native American Indian. I don't think that gives me any additional credibility over it. It shouldn't be a point of argumentation. I shouldn't have to talk about percentages. I'm definitely more Indian than Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that the full context of our history and diverse perspectives should be taught from the noble premise established in our Declaration of Independence amen. that every person is treated with equal rights. There you go, amen. <laughs> and broken treaties to the heroic sacrificial effort to end slavery in the Civil War and the scouring and the, and the securing of equal rights for women and people of color for the Civil Rights Movement. You can look the world over and find no other no nation one. who has done more to right. eradicate the racism and oppression at the world. Today. However, we firmly, firmly believe that promoting new forms of racism will not heal already existing mm -hmm. forms. That's right. right. Therefore, we reject critical race pedagogy because it teaches students to judge themselves yep. by their skin color yep. Yep. and group themselves either as white oppressors yes. or oppressed people of color. And BIPOC, by the way, I don't think everyone appreciates being grouped into a new term called BIPOC. That is ridiculosity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your master's added some of you. Probably took, oh, one minute? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we also do not deny the presence of racism today. What? I finished that part. Promoting CRT in our schools will only institutionalize racism, which is why 20 states have already outlawed it, and so many people across this district firmly oppose it. The pressure of the racist Marxist agenda, and by the way, the Frankfurt School fled Nazi Germany to California. Yeah. Pastor. Yeah. They fled Nazi Germany. They came to America. Hey. Yeah. For this reason, I urge you to stop politicizing the content of our children's education. Revisions. So we've shifted from students gaining knowledge and skills that promote freedom to students being indoctrinated with identity politics which promotes oppression. This shift has happened before in the history of the world under Hitler and Nazi Germany and under Mao and Communist China. And some of the world's most heinous atrocities have followed. I represent the percentage of American... Okay, we'll continue this in the future. For the sake of your bell, I don't want you to wear off that brass bell. <laughs> <laughs>